So today I'm gonna be making cauliflower pizza with pepperoni. And I actually just found the recipe at the back of a package of a frozen rice cauliflower I found in the grocery. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line, the, line this pan with baking paper. And just bake this cauliflower a bit so that all the liquids come out. Actually, I'm not sure if this whole thing is gonna fit here. But let's see. Oh, yeah, this is a lot. <laughs> not sure if this is gonna fit. Yeah, I've already uh, actually preheated the oven 190 degrees Celsius. And yeah, we're just gonna bake this for 15 minutes. So now that we've got the cauliflower, I'm just gonna cool it down a bit and transfer it here in the bowl with the cheesecloth. I'm just gonna cool this down before we squeeze all the water out. Uh, so I think this might be like cool enough to touch. So I'm gonna try to squeeze out as much water as I can now out of the baked cauliflower. Oh, it's still a bit hot. <laughs> oh wow, it's actually a lot of water coming out. It's super hot. <laughs> I can do this. Oh, my hands are burning. <laughs> Oh, I'm really loving this cheesecloth now. So the last time I actually just used um, paper towels because I didn't have this cheesecloth. And I wasn't able to get this much liquid last time. Now there's actually really a lot coming out. Okay, I guess it's enough water. Uh, do you want to see how much water I got out? Uh, so now I'm gonna add um, egg, seasoning, and cheeses. So I just place in the egg, and then there's a pepper, and then I'm just gonna use some, put some mixed herbs in there. Wait, actually I'm gonna put a lot. Oh wait. And I guess more pepper. <laughs> and some salt. And just mix it up. And then uh, I'm gonna add Cheese. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put like cheese in this. I don't really have actually I don't actually have any measurements at all for this. I'm just using my intuition <laughs> for the measurements. There I'm just gonna mix it, mix it well. Damn it. I threw the package where the directions was. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna bake this in an oven that is like um, 200 degrees Celsius. Uh, it has been heated 230 degrees Celsius and then for like 20 minutes, I think. So now that I've mixed everything together, Let's put it on the mixing pan, on the 
making fun again. And try to form, I'm gonna try to form the pizza crust now. I'm just gonna make a, like a, a square shaped pizza instead of a circle so that uh, I can maximize the space here since I just have a small pan right here. Yeah, this is taking a bit of time trying to spread everything out and make sure uh, that everything is like level. Like if you make a part too thin, it's gonna burn, burn up. Oh uh, yeah, I've preheated the oven now to 200 to 230 degrees. So we're in the last part of the process. I'm just gonna prepare the toppings that we're gonna put on the pizza. Uh, I am gonna put more cheese, basically uh, this onion and some pepperoni. So yeah. I'm gonna quickly chop this white onion here. I actually prefer like shallots, but uh, this is like leftover from a dinner I cooked a few nights ago, so we're gonna use this instead. Yeah, let's put the cheese first. Yeah, actually I was planning to divide this into four so that um, so the as you, if you see the edges right they're kind of um, like burnt or what do you call it toasted right so that part really tastes good so what I want to do right now is to somehow divide this into four so that we can get more toasted edges Or actually, I I don't know if this is gonna work, but yeah, I want more of those toasted ed edges. It's actually smelling really good. So I'm just gonna continue spreading all the cheeses. Should I put more cheese, Lewis? Always more cheese. Oh, she's like, yes, more cheese. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I guess that's good. Let's spread up the onions. And of course, we definitely want tons of onions. Is this enough onions, Louis? Yes. More? No. <laughs> Did I put too much? My stomach is taking control of me right now. Okay. Let's put the pepperoni. Uh, yeah, there's, there's it. I think that's good. Um, I'm just gonna quickly wash my hands so that I can carry this pan towards the oven. Which I once again forgot to preheat. <laughs> I'll be back. There. Basically, there's no specific time for this. Uh, we just have to wait for the cheese to melt, for the pepperoni to cook, and the onions to cook as well. So yeah, just gonna watch it. We forgot to turn off the aircon. <laughs> so this is the behind the scenes people don't see in these videos. Right? Oh shit! There's a camera. <laughs> The unglamorous side of YouTube. <laughs> 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 
again, story. Yeah. So good. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> oh shit, yeah. So, you know, uh, you know, I love cats. So, no. <laughs> But I think that's already good, right? Wait, I'm gonna show you, okay? What do you think? It's a pepperoni coat. It's cooked oh, already, it's right? Cooked, yeah. Nice. Okay. Time to do my time to do my the cat knows that it's already cooked. I'm recording. First bite. Wow, I think I put too much Tabasco on this. It's burning my nostrils. Yeah, it's good. I think I could have put more cheese in this though. <laughs> So that concludes our cauliflower pizza recipe video. If you like this video, smash that like button. <laughs> uh, click subscribe if you want to see more of uh, more of our videos, more of the Offcast and Restudio collaboration. And let me know in the comments what other stuff you'd like to see us do. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> God damn it, that's so hard. Look, Louis, I sweat so much. Just